So, let's start. Number 10. Project Horizon, the U.S. Army's secret moon base. In the late 1950s, the Cold War paranoia was so intense that the U.S. Army wasn't thinking about peaceful exploration. They had something much more ambitious, a full-scale military base on the moon. This was called Project Horizon, and the goal was to beat the Soviets to the moon and, if necessary, control it militarily. The plan was insane. They imagined sending 245 rocket launches to carry everything needed to establish a base, construction materials, life support systems, even nuclear weapons, the base would house 12 soldiers underground in pressurized metal tunnels, with nuclear reactors providing power and communication systems that would link them directly to Earth. They even had bunkers designed to survive radiation and meteor impacts. The army feared that if the Soviets got there first, they could strike Earth from the moon, a terrifying thought. They wanted a permanent presence that would show off American strength in the most literal sense. The blueprints included plans for storage, living quarters, and defensive positions. In one draft, there was even a proposal to plant a small nuke on the moon for demonstration purposes. Imagine the first message humanity sends into the cosmos being, essentially, a warning. Mess with us, and we'll blow up your backyard. Eventually, NASA took over America's space program, and Project Horizon was quietly shelved. But the detailed engineering plans influenced early lunar habitat research, and even today's concepts for living on the moon. Project Horizon remains a chilling reminder of just how far governments were willing to go, turning a peaceful celestial body into a military fortress, all before anyone had ever set foot on it. Number 9. Project Rover, nuclear rockets that could change space travel. While most of us imagine rockets burning chemical fuel, the US government once considered propelling spacecraft using nuclear bombs. This was Project Rover, a classified plan from the late 1950s to the early 1970s, and it was as terrifying as it sounds. The idea was to create a nuclear-powered engine for long-distance space travel. Instead of chemical combustion, these engines would use a small nuclear reactor to superheat hydrogen and blast it out at incredible speeds. In theory, this could make trips to Mars possible in months rather than years. Engineers tested the reactors in Nevada and proved they worked. The thrust was incredible, about twice that of conventional rockets. But here's the kicker. Every test produced radioactive exhaust. This wasn't just a tiny bit of radiation, it was a literal cloud of nuclear material that could drift into populated areas. Scientists debated the ethics, but in classic Cold War fashion, the logic was the ends justify the means. Some even proposed launching the reactor into orbit first to reduce Earth contamination, which sounds like a bad idea even by government standards. The project ran for almost two decades. By 1973, environmental concerns, cost, and treaties against nuclear explosions in space killed it. Yet, the concept is making a comeback in modern nuclear propulsion research. Nuclear rockets could one day send humans to Mars faster than we ever dreamed, but back then, it was humanity flirting with disaster just to go further than anyone else. Number 8. The Lost Cosmonauts, Soviet Space Secrets They Tried to Erase Long before Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit Earth in 1961, the Soviet space program was a perilous playground for test pilots. Some of these missions were successful, some ended in failure, and some never even made it off the ground, at least officially. These were the so-called lost cosmonauts. Amateur radio operators in the 1960s claimed to intercept faint, desperate signals from spacecraft that shouldn't have existed. Some recordings included faint voices calling for help, mechanical warnings, and gasps for breath, all fading into eerie static. While skeptics argued that these were hoaxes, declassified documents later revealed that the Soviets did conduct secret test flights in the early years of the space race, sometimes sending human pilots in experimental capsules without proper recovery systems. These cosmonauts faced enormous risks. Capsules could fail on launch, explode in orbit, or burn up on re-entry. If they survived one stage, they might still succumb to oxygen failures or radiation, 
and if they died, the Soviet government erased their existence completely. Families were told their loved ones died in training accidents. The Cold War demanded perfection, and human lives were expendable in the pursuit of propaganda victories. Even today, the lost cosmonauts remain one of space exploration's darkest mysteries. They serve as a chilling reminder that before the heroic narratives we celebrate, someone had to pay the ultimate price in silence. Floating unseen among the stars, their sacrifices erased from history. Number 7. The X-37B, America's Ghostly Space Shuttle. The X-37B looks like a mini space shuttle, but appearances are deceiving. Developed by Boeing and the US Air Force, this secret spacecraft has spent years orbiting Earth with barely anyone knowing what it's doing. Some missions have lasted over 900 days, which is almost three years of unmonitored activity in orbit. The public is told it's an experimental test vehicle, but analysts suspect a mix of satellite deployment, reconnaissance, and classified military experiments. The X-37B can maneuver in orbit, change its altitude, and return to Earth autonomously, all while carrying equipment no one outside the Air Force sees. What's eerie is how silent its missions are. The spacecraft launches with much fanfare, disappears into the void, and then lands quietly, its cargo secreted away. Analysts have speculated that it could be testing satellite interception or jamming technologies, perhaps even experimental space-based weaponry. Others suggest it may be trialing highly advanced sensors or stealth systems that could allow satellites to remain undetected. Its stealthy nature has fueled conspiracy theories. Some wonder if it's involved in surveillance of other countries' satellites, testing laser or electronic warfare from orbit, or even secretly manipulating orbital debris. Unlike other spacecraft, which have public missions and clear objectives, the X-37B operates as a ghost, visible at launch, invisible in orbit, returning with secrets that only the military sees. It's a chilling reminder that not all space programs are about exploration. Some are about control, observation, and power. The X-37B represents humanity's ability to extend the arms race into the final frontier, quietly, invisibly, and with potentially enormous consequences. Number 6. Project Stargate – Psychic Spies in the Cold War The 1970s were a strange time. While most of the world raced to the moon, the CIA poured resources into Project Stargate, investigating whether humans could use psychic abilities to gather intelligence. The goal was simple. If the Soviets were remotely spying on us, could the US do the same using the human mind? Participants practiced remote viewing, attempting to locate enemy military installations, submarines, or even lost planes, all without leaving a windowless government lab. Some results were eerily accurate. One participant allegedly described a Soviet missile silo in perfect detail, while another correctly located a missing aircraft. The problem was consistency. For every success, there were dozens of failures, yet the government continued funding the program for decades. The idea of psychic espionage may sound absurd, but it shows how desperation can make even rational governments embrace the bizarre. Stargate cost millions of dollars and involved extensive training, psychological studies, and classified reports, all in pursuit of the impossible. Beyond espionage, it became a cultural touchstone for Cold War paranoia. Spies with minds instead of weapons stretching the boundaries of belief and science. Project Stargate is a fascinating reminder that fear and competition can push humanity to explore not just the stars, but the very limits of our imagination, even if the results are inconclusive. Number 5. Project Iceworm, Greenland's Hidden Nuclear Base. While this didn't take place in space, it was still a highly secret government project that was tightly guarded from the public. In the early 1960s, the US Army built Camp Century, ostensibly a research station in Greenland, to study Arctic conditions, but beneath the ice lurked something far more audacious. Project Iceworm, a plan to hide hundreds of nuclear missiles in tunnels carved under a moving glacier. The engineering was insane. Soldiers lived months underground in freezing, narrow corridors, maintaining missile systems that could potentially strike the Soviet Union without warning. The tunnels contained sleeping quarters, kitchens, medical facilities, and even a nuclear reactor to provide power. Essentially, it was a fully functional city under ice, built to be invisible to the outside world, but nature didn't cooperate 
the glacier moved faster than expected, crushing tunnels and destabilizing entire sections of the base. Engineers had underestimated the ice's power. What was supposed to be a hidden, impervious launch platform became an unstable death trap. The project was abandoned, leaving behind frozen Cold War relics and radioactive waste still trapped beneath the ice. Today, climate change threatens to expose these remnants. What was once secret and safe is slowly surfacing, potentially releasing decades-old nuclear material into the environment. Iceworm is a chilling example of human hubris, weaponizing a glacier, relying on nature to stay put, and trusting frozen ice to hide one of humanity's deadliest arsenals. It's a bizarre and terrifying story of ambition, secrecy, and the limits of control. Number 4. Soviet Battle Satellites – The Silent War in Orbit During the Cold War, the USSR developed a series of battle satellites designed to disable or destroy enemy spacecraft. On paper, it was simple – intercept, neutralize, and leave no trace. In reality, it was terrifying. These satellites could nudge enemy spacecraft out of orbit, physically grapple them, or even detonate small explosives near them. The goal was total orbital dominance. The US countered with its own secret programs, creating a silent, invisible war above our heads. Humans on Earth were completely unaware of these ghostly battles happening hundreds of kilometers above them. Satellites weren't just tools for communication or navigation, they were weapons in a theater of zero-gravity combat, capable of crippling economies, military networks, and even early warning systems. The collateral consequences were staggering. Tests and accidental collisions created debris fields that persist today, threatening modern satellites and the International Space Station. Every time a fragment of metal drifts through orbit, it's a ghostly reminder of this Cold War chess game. Space, which we imagine as quiet and infinite, was in fact a deadly chaotic battlefield, invisible to the public eye. What makes this particularly chilling is that any satellite destroyed could have triggered chain reactions, spreading debris across orbit like a minefield. For decades, humanity's technological infrastructure depended on fragile glass and metal platforms floating silently in a war humans couldn't see, and many still don't. The concept of invisible war in the sky is as fascinating as it is horrifying, a cosmic battlefield where one misstep could have global consequences. Number 3. Project Blue Gemini – Military Astronauts in Secret Training While NASA was publicly launching Gemini astronauts into orbit, the US Air Force quietly ran Project Blue Gemini, a secret program designed to train humans for orbital military operations. Unlike NASA's missions, which were about science and exploration, Blue Gemini focused on combat readiness in space, satellite interception, and sabotage operations. Astronauts in this program trained in specialized simulators that mimicked zero-gravity orbital mechanics. They practiced docking with uncooperative spacecraft, removing or manipulating foreign satellites, and executing maneuvers that would allow them to neutralize threats. The training was relentless, combining the physical demands of spaceflight with the psychological pressure of being a human weapon system orbiting hundreds of kilometers above Earth. The most surreal part is that these astronauts were essentially preparing for space warfare before it officially existed. There were no battles yet, no enemy spacecraft to fight, but the Cold War paranoia demanded readiness. They simulated everything. Hostile satellites, orbital sabotage, and contingency recovery for failed operations. While no actual Blue Gemini missions ever launched, the program laid the groundwork for the manned orbiting laboratory and influenced how military operations in orbit are conducted today. It's eerie to imagine trained humans floating silently in space, ready to execute combat maneuvers with the public completely unaware. This program reminds us that the space race wasn't purely about exploration, it was also a shadowy battlefield where human skill, ingenuity, and fear intersected in the void. Number 2. The Manned Orbiting Laboratory, MOL, Spy Station That Never Flew the Air Force's Manned Orbiting Laboratory, MOL, was a planned crewed space station designed entirely for reconnaissance. Unlike NASA's celebrated missions, MOL astronauts weren't explorers or scientists, they were orbital spies. Their job would have been to live in cramped modules for weeks while operating high-resolution cameras and observational instruments to monitor Soviet military activity. The MOL program was ambitious and highly secretive, 
engineers designed life support, orbital surveillance systems, and secure communications to ensure the astronauts could observe without being detected. These crew members would essentially act as human satellites, floating silently above Earth, tracking enemy movements in real time. The project was eventually cancelled, but its influence lingered. MOL technology helped shape modern reconnaissance satellites and military orbital planning. The eerie truth is that during the Cold War, humans were literally trained to be weapons in orbit, ready to watch, record, and report from a silent vantage point thousands of kilometers above our heads. The MOL is a haunting reminder of the lengths nations will go to maintain strategic advantage. While the public celebrated lunar landings and scientific breakthroughs, other astronauts prepared for a shadowy secret war in the skies, a battle that most people didn't even know existed. Number 1. The Rorsat Program, Nuclear-Powered Spy Satellites. If you thought satellites were innocent tools for communication and weather forecasting, think again. The Soviet Union's Rorsat program in the 1970s launched nuclear-powered satellites designed to spy on naval movements, especially U.S. aircraft carriers. These satellites carried small nuclear reactors to provide enough power for radar systems because conventional solar panels weren't sufficient for the energy-hungry instruments. The satellites orbited Earth silently, scanning oceans for hours, months, or even years at a time. They were invisible observers powered by radioactive cores with the ability to track fleets across thousands of kilometers. This created a terrifying mix of intelligence gathering and radioactive risk. If one of these satellites malfunctioned or re-entered the atmosphere uncontrollably, it could release radiation over populated areas, creating an invisible hazard that lingered for years. What makes Rorsat particularly chilling? is its combination of ingenuity and danger. Engineers had created a system that could monitor global military movements continuously, yet relied on a ticking atomic bomb in orbit to do so. Some satellites did fail, spreading radioactive debris across orbit, remnants of a program that merged espionage, cutting-edge engineering, and outright risk, the Rorsat program is a stark reminder that the Cold War extended not only to Earth, but into space itself, where power, secrecy, and sheer audacity collided. Satellites, silent and remote, became both tools of surveillance and symbols of the thin line between intelligence and disaster. Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.